Uh, disappointed for the players a little bit, but I think we're good. We, you, you, it, it was out of our control as of last Tuesday. So at that point, it's there's a lot of there's a lot of teams that are pretty even, and I don't think there's I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you split the hairs and figure out who's better. You really can't because the only way you could is have them play, and you can't have them all play. So well, when my manager looked over at me and said, "Hey, the bracket's already out. We're not in." So the whole show wasn't over yet, and uh, they hadn't done the final bracket. So we knew, we knew then, and uh, you're not gonna phony that up. So I heard, I heard leak bracket, and we weren't in it. And I didn't look at the bracket, and I didn't want to know. I was just hoping it was not real. You know, one of those things, some spoof that someone put out there trying to get some views or whatever. Uh, obviously, pretty shattered. You know, we thought we had a great year this year. Um, we knew we were on the bubble there, and could have gone either way, but. To not make it after what we thought was such a good year is obviously really disappointing. But I mean, the NIT is a great tournament. We're looking forward. We're happy to be playing at least at this stage in the year. I told the team if you're you're playing in a tournament that starts with an N this time of year, you have a good team. You had a good year. So as a coach, I'm so excited to be playing in the NIT. And we don't know who we play yet, but uh, we'll probably get a high seed. And uh, shoot, we. Steph Curry came in here, Clay Thompson came in here. That was all part of the NIT. There's the, the teams you play in the NIT are uh, are teams that just like us that could have easily been in the NCAA tournament and, and didn't get the nod. So that's the NIT is a really good tournament, and uh, we're excited to be in it. And these guys will these guys will get through this. Right now, I think they're they got a little hangover on that just from being left out, but uh, we'll, we'll get in the right place real quick here and, and be excited to play Tuesday or Wednesday or when, whenever we play, whoever we play. Our non-conference RPI was good. We played good teams. We, I mean, Bakersfield ended up being good. Grand Canyon ended up being good. Uh, Cal, Stanford, Irvine, and like Davis won 25 games last year. That's a good game to schedule. Cal, Cal Poly Slow is a good game to schedule. So I thought we, I thought we had a really good non-conference schedule. And we went 10 and one on those. So I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. If you would have asked me at the beginning of the season, I would have said, hey, that's a pretty good schedule. So we'll see. I'd, I'd be interested to know. I just know this, that there was only one really mid-major at-large team. So uh, we're not switching conferences.